Hi everyone, welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing really wonderful this morning. So on the infrared satellite imagery, we can see a couple of systems moving through and we also see some activity along the intertropical convergence zone. So there is some convection there offshore Africa and out in the Atlantic, but we're seeing all of that activity, some of which is in parts of the eastern US extended to the Bahamas and Cuba as well and there is a lot going on with it lots of showers lots of thunderstorm activity let's zoom in here and there we are seeing it so uh that is going to continue to make its way out to the east eventually weakening but it will likely uh, bring some rainfall to other parts of the northern caribbean so we're going to be looking at the forecast and uh, elsewhere across the region is pretty quiet right now it's a beautiful morning for most of us maybe with a few passing showers in some areas but uh, overall, there isn't much happening right now, but it is quite windy in some areas. We'll be looking at the wind forecast later in the video. But as it relates to the rainfall forecast, here we are seeing that uh, there are these shades of purples and pinks popping up within the vicinity of Cuba, as well as the Bahamas. We can see that, and uh, that is showing rainfall amounts up to around two, going up to three, three and a half inches as we're going to be heading through today. So there's already some rainfall in some areas, some heavy rain and uh, thunderstorms as well in parts of the Northern Bahamas. You can let me know in the comments what's been happening for you, but uh, that stormy weather has definitely been moving through. So for parts of South Florida, as well as the Bahamas and even for parts of Cuba. So additional rainfall is likely as we head through today, which may have the potential to even trigger flooding so please be mindful of that there may have already been flooding in some areas again you can let me know what's been happening for you but that's the story for today within this area and uh for the turks and caicos island southern bahamas there could be some shower activity as well but eventually more will be moving in tomorrow and then for areas such as jamaica the cayman islands a whole lot of rain not really expected today but eventually as the frontal system is going to be making its way by there could be an increase in shower activity across parts of jamaica and uh, i believe it was early this week or late last week when models were showing that the current system would bring more rain to jamaica but unfortunately it seems as though most of the activity will remain north of the island so Hopefully we get some uh, substantial downpours in some areas because it's been very dry and hot without a doubt. Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, the Lesser Antilles, especially going towards the Windward Islands, may experience some showers today as well. Things will likely be on the drier side for most of Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, and parts of French Guiana, the ABC Islands as well. Look at this dry pocket here in the South Caribbean. So san andres providencia and sections of central america as well so that would include parts of nicaragua going towards other bay islands of honduras belize the keys as well sections of the yucatan of mexico and down to el salvador but uh, further inland in parts of mexico guatemala honduras may experience some downpours similar to for costa rica panama and then uh, for colombia in south america very active we're seeing these very colorful shading so there's already some decent rainfall activity and thunderstorms moving through Wind forecast for today, as we're seeing more of those blue shadings, winds getting a lot stronger. We're heading up to uh, near tropical storm force winds. So with that system moving through, winds have certainly been kicking up within the vicinity of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands as well, even offshore Florida and for parts of the Caribbean. So very windy in most of the Caribbean winds of at least 15 knots going up to 20, 25 knots or so in the region. Now, another area of low pressure is expected to form in association with this current system. Let's look at what models have to show. So this is what GFS has here. This is as we're going to be heading into Monday. So we see that next area of low pressure associated with the frontal system, which will be making its way by uh, maybe an increase in moisture in parts of the North Caribbean to bring some rainfall and eventually uh, to the eastern islands as well. Potentially, hopefully it comes to fruition because it's been very hot and dry. Euro is also showing that the area of low pressure as the frontal system makes its way out, but eventually it loiters around and weaken. And with that, uh, next low pressure system, as we're going to be heading into Monday, take a look at these wave heights. Look at these purple shadings, even some peach popping up. So well over 20, maybe going up to 30 feet 
in wave height. So for areas such as uh, Bermuda, it is going to be very, very unsettled, very rough seas out there. For the Caribbean, though, uh, it should be on the calm side for the most part. Uh, seas aren't expected to be crazy out there. But again, this isn't a strong front that extends into the Caribbean that will be uh, kicking up the waves significantly. So it should be pretty calm across most areas, uh, maybe the maximum up to uh, four or five feet in wave height. And so guys, uh, that is what is going on. And uh, tomorrow is going to be my next countdown video to the official start of the hurricane season. So stay tuned for that video. I'll be talking about the season a bit. And uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you for right now. So. I hope you found this update to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.